Hey man, welcome back to Man Time. Today's episode, we have got a four ton jack on the bench. This is the first thing that I bought, really, when I moved out to the country and got some property um, and, uh, and finally got some space where I could use a, a jack. Now, maybe I got this before that. I may have got this one like pretty much immediately after I moved out of the, the parents' house, you know? One of the first things you need is a, is a really good jack. So I got a 4, 000, uh, four ton jack, 8,000 pound, and now it's not working. Let's fix it. Welcome to man time. So here, here's what the jack's doing. Um, and again, this is like, this is like the most I could afford, you know, when I was, uh, yeah. So it gets up to a certain point, it starts, it's one of those like quick ascend type of deals, but then it just, it really loses steam. So there's a, okay, it, it, it got up a little bit there, and now it's just, now it's done. Um, yeah, 19 and 3, six, yeah, and it's, so it, and it's hopping down. So there's three things it could be. Uh, one, it could be low on oil. Two, it could be the valving inside this piston that the handle is pushing up and down to transfer fluid. Or it could be uh, something inside the cylinder, which options one and two are, are bad, but not horrible. I mean, we can fix it, right? We're men. Uh, so let's see if it isn't option one. And I'll get you in here and show you, like, where the, where the secret plug is uh, to make sure that we're topped off on fluids. Um, I think I tried this before and it didn't work, so we're probably going to have to dig in here a little bit further. And it's either going to be the valving on this little piston that transfers the fluid, or it could be on the main, you know, main hydraulic cylinder. Which, you know, e either way, we'll, we'll fix it. Right, so on this jack, it's got this little tray. And beneath the tray is a little plug right inside of here right there Let's see if we can pop that off of there and maybe it's just low on fluid um, chances are low because I'm fairly sure I went through this exercise once before so I've got a little oil can here and I've got some hydraulic fluid in there so we are just gonna pump this sucker full of fluid now I remember trying this, but this seems like it's pretty low. I shouldn't have to put this much fluid in here. How much do you want? All of it? Yeah, so I'm, I've got my new, uh, I've got my new shot back there, and it'd be really nice to have a jack in there. Again, that's one of the first things, you know, if I can have a little go bag full of tools and a jack uh, sitting back there, you know, that's going to make my life a whole lot easier. Okay, so, nothing, oh, we got some action there, oh, oh, we're, we're sucking air. I think I may have just found the problem. Let's just keep filling this thing. So we'll just see how much this thing is willing to take. Yeah, so I must have got this back in around 2008, I would guess. Maybe two th even 2006 or seven. Yeah, it was extremely low. I thought I went through this process before. And uh, I guess you really need something like this. So I got this at like O'Reilly. This is a performance tool, little oil pump. Um, you know, I think you can pretty much get these anywhere, Amazon or whatever. But this is a pint pump oiler, three quarter pint pump oiler. And I am just really 
filling this thing up. Well, if you couldn't see the hole before, there it is. And it had just this little rubber plug shoved into it. So let's back you up and see if we didn't get enough fluid in there to maybe make this thing work correctly. Man, it's nice out here in the country. Just dead calm, silent, nice fresh and air. 20 blowing in the breeze. All right, let's let's uh, let's see how we're doing here. All right, I can visibly see fluid in there where it wasn't before. Violent. Oh. All right, now we're full. Let's pump it back up here. It's definitely sucking air. See, that's how high it should go, right? <laughs> so maybe if we just exercise the cylinder a few times, it will kind of come around. Still sucking air, but maybe, maybe exercise it and we'll get it out. It's like empty right there from this side. But at least it, like it's not jerking around, you know. It takes a little bit there, but then it immediately catches. I mean, this is something you want to trust, you know, trust your life with, right? Seems pretty solid, but it's hard to tell. I think I'm going to jack my car up and just kind of leave it there overnight and measure it and then see if the height changes. Well, I've got this Honda sitting right here. I'm going to try jacking it up. See if I can find a good jack spot under here. It is jacking. That jack spot is not great. Hey, sweet little girl. Hey, sweet little girl. Yeah, yeah, I'm a little girl. Oh my god, that I made this. Yes, you are. You're my best little girl. Yes, you are. You're my best All right, so that tire is just off the ground. I'm gonna leave it like that overnight and uh, we'll see where we're at in the morning. All right, man, well, it is the next morning. We've still got a tire in the air, so we're looking all good there. A uh, Couple gotchas on this one. Uh, that fluid may not have worked. I still may have had to redo something. Um, getting it in that little hole, you're gonna need one of those pumpers or maybe take your zoom spout, uh, dump that out, pour some hydraulic fluid in there and then get it in that way. I think the last time I tried to do it before I bought a new one, 
Uh, I tried pouring from the jug or like a quart bottle and using like a piece of wire, you know, to try to get it to go in there. I don't think it worked. Um, I think that's why it, it got parked initially. So, I mean, you know, uh, make sure the oil's getting in there is, uh, is my point there. Anyways, Jack is all fixed up. Hopefully that helped you out. Uh, if it did, make sure to subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and get out there. Have you some man time, too.